Yes, yes, yes. Shalom, Chabarim. Shalom, Talmudim. Shalano. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Korim Li Yadon. This is Yadon here. This is Ras Ayadonis Tafari L-O-J. The line of Judah Society. Ras Tafari Jews. Ras Tafari Israelites. Right here, here, here. So we're going to begin off this vlog right here. Where we had left off the previous vlog. Something that we did to comment to what brother go black to Africa. Our man, not our boy, go black to Africa. Check out his channel. He shared a couple of um, videos, recent videos, you know, concerning why some black men, or we could say black men who we would regard and should regard as brothers, be degrading right other brothers right concerning vis-a-vis -vis matters you know of who we be our identity and and other peoples who have similar same name claim right to we the black jews of the lion of the tribe of judah we have the royal order of the ethiopian hebrews after the order of malachias edek so what we should be doing, right? This is why I just zoom in on this uh, section, this portion of the picture, because this is what we should be doing, right? Take a snapshot of that. That's what we should be doing. We should be opening the book, right? We say, weep not, behold, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open, right? To do what? To open the book. It didn't say even to open our mouth at first, initially, but to open the book, Right? <laughs> to open the book. Right? To loose the seven seals and to open the book. Right? To open the book. Right? Loosening those seven seals. Right? The seven seals. Number seven, very, very interesting also to us as a people. And just universally, has a universal, very interesting application. So the seven seals, more on that as we move forward. But this is what we need to do. Right? We need to be opening the book and taking a look too often we be commenting publicly right unadvisedly unadvisedly to certain situations that do yes they do move us emotionally oh you know about this or that especially when we start to speak about well who are the hebrews and who are the israelites and and who are the jews you know and and different ethnicities and and modern times and and the ancient past and and also having the trans right Ethiopian Ocean, I like to emphasize that there, the Ethiopian, Ethiopic, Ethiopian Ocean, enslavement trade of our people and who's who, who's responsible. There's a there's many related and even highly relevant subjects and issues in that matter because it is restoring and reclaiming an identity to the once lost now found. I mean, even the Bible, the scriptures from old and even to the Brit Chadash, the New Testament, when we rightly, right, take a look at the book, all right? So there are some Old Testament only, right, Israelites, Hebrews, and, and, and Yehudi, even some of us as, 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 as we call it in the English, and we've been named and we carry this name on from our ancestors, we the black Jews, you know? Right, we the black Jews, and we say of the line of the tribe of Judah because pointing to the commandment keepers, congregation of the living God, the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews is our roots. This is one of our main roots because of what they testify to. But instead of us growing in grace, we get caught up in some of this emotional stuff, a lot of emotionalism. Right, basically, a lot of the brothers be continuing the sin of Adam. We call it the sin of the first Adam, right? As they call it, right? They say the first Adam. And speaking about mainly about the the Gan Ba'aden, the Garden of Eden, you know, and the Garden of Eden incident. He was given a direct command for what to do, right? He basically followed his wife, his woman, right? Instead of, right, saving her from beguilement. Right now, if we look at this on a metaphysical level, like the second of the Hebrew two truths, is basically acting from the kind of we say the, the the feelings and the emotions, 
right? And not from the logic and the reasoning. If we were to examine and take in a clearer look, right, into the book, right, concerning, you know, concerning Adam and Ishto and his Eshet, Arset, his woman, his wife, because often they say Adam and Eve, but actually she was called Eve after the whole incident. I know people say, well, well, what difference does that make? See, that's the problem there. The problem is that we're making a claim, right? Those of us who make a claim to a name, and even if the evidence that points to the link between the Israelites and the Hebrews and even the Yehudi, the Judahites and the tribe of Judah of the Bible, the scripture of ancient time with us as black people, even this very time, we're not going to the next step. We're, we're basically almost like running off of feelings and emotions, seeking to get validation, right? Too many of us seeking to get validation by others. You know, we see some arguments. Okay, there's a black man who says he's a Hebrew or Israelite or he's a Jew. And now he's out there in social media and he's arguing against a, um, a, a white man or a European Jew. And they're going back and forth. And people kind of like that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> but that's the broad way, right? It's the broad way that leads to destruction. And since our people like that stuff and be doing that stuff, what does it really, where does it really get us? Right? Does it really grow the community? Right? Does it, do we really, are we just saying that, well, well, black people, we are, we, we're Jews or Hebrews or Israelites. Right? And, and we're Israelites by blood. Look, we black and look, they black. Look at the archaeology or look at the, look at the pictures or look at what is said here in this book. Swarthy, right? Dark, you know, uh, kinky, you know, you know, we, we, we identify that and that's, those are points and proofs on a level. But, okay, if that is the truth there, based on the fleshy, the carnal identification. And it's not to say that there is not the fleshy, the carnal, the natural links, right? We are those natural branches, but we have to ask the question, how we've been broken off, right? And see, when you don't take a look in the book, you begin to think that it's men and people. You begin to almost by default worship men and people, even a reverse worship men and people. So you start to hate, right? Or another group of men and people because they're making certain claims and you've come to find out that you might have stronger claims to the very same name. Okay. Remember what the Mo Moshiach, Reboni, Robeno, Yeshua, Hanotri, our rabbi, we say the rabbi of rabbis. We also say our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, for those who understand Jesus, Jesus Christ, you know. But Yeshua, right, Yeshua, Ha Moshiach, a.k.a. Yeshua Hanotri. What did he say? He said even to our people, he said, observe what the Pharisees and the scribes and the, you know, the Sadducees, observe what they observe, right? What did he say? Observe what they observe, but don't do after their works because they say one thing and do another. But what did he say to us? He said to observe, right? This is why we show you these historical pictures right here because we had, when we had observant <laughs> communities, I mean, we still do have like communities, who are observant, even here in the Americas, you know, and it's also for them and to them, right, for them, like on their behalf, we understand why they tend to, you know, you know, fall away from the, the limelight. So most people, when they know or hear about the Hebrews or the Israelites, they hear about, you know, some of the more popular, you know, groups that have come up over the last maybe 20 to 40 years or so. Right. But there's there's roots that we have of this identification of learning and growing and living the life. Right. Of we the black Jews. Right. And living, for lack of a better word, we could say a black Yehudi or a black Jewish life. If you read writings, they talk about, oh, European Jews, you know, European Jews, Ashkenazi Jews. You know, there's this different type of Yehudi as if you know anything about the Bible, open the book. Right. It says that the children of Israel will be scattered to the four corners of this earth. So that means potentially, right, we have our people scattered in all the nations of the earth. Right. But particularly prophecy speaks to us in this northern and this western hemisphere, namely in the Americas 
and the Caribbean. So we need to open the book. What we need to be doing, we need to open the book, right? We need, we need to study. We need to grow, right? We need to become Torah observant, right? When we say Torah observant, no, no, even before observant, just Torah aware. Well, I mentioned this in the previous video where um, we spoke about the black Jews and anti-Semitism, I think question mark, um, why no comment, right? Why no comments, right? Are best and 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 and, and better or or blessed, right? Still, I'm just doing this one on the heels of that because of where we ended off there, saying about what we should be doing, right? What we should be doing is growing in grace and in that knowledge. What we should be doing is studying to show ourselves approved. Right. Let's bring up that verse for a moment right here. Let's bring up that verse for a moment. Let's bring up that verse. A study to show yourself approved. Now, this is where we had left off in the previous. Right. To say actually part of it is our own fault as a people. Right. See, that's what happens when um, when you don't study to show yourself approved. That's what happened actually to the Israelites. Right. Historically, biblically, scripturally, prophetically. The same thing that happened to them now with a partial consciousness, right? Because even the Kanye's or the Ye's and the Kyrie and others that say, well, we are, you know, the Jews or the Hebrews, the Israelites are black, even on that level. Okay? And, and see, no one else is really saying this truth, not no one else, but very few we've, we haven't heard. Maybe they are, but maybe they're saying more privately is really saying these sort of truths, you know, that even that level of recognizing who we are as black people is still very much incomplete. And it's not because another group of people, right, who are making or have made certain similar claims, at least over the past, you know, 400 to, let's see, let's, let, let's put this in a historical period of time, for at least roughly 1,300 years, right? Right, over the past 400 years, we encountered this over here, we get a loss of self by and large. Right. But the other group of people who also make claim to being Yehudi or being Jew or Israelite, their claims based on their own scholarship, some very good scholarship that others in their community don't dispute. Very few dispute. Many accept the validity, you know, that the other Jews, the European Jews, roughly 740 A.D. Right. The making and invention of the Jewish people it was a very good book as well. Right. By European a European Jew. So we're basically pointing out to research that others have done, and this book is very much highlighted even in certain European Jewish circles. But what we need to be doing is to be studying, right? We need to be growing in grace. It's like now that we found love, what are we going to do with it, right? Okay, you didn't think you had love. Now you find love, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with it? Right? You have to build in this love. You know what I mean? You have to invest in this love. We have to build on this, this, this name, this identification and invest in it. Right? Instead of just looking at the from a carnal mind. But many are looking at it from a carnal mind because they have not really been reborn. You know, regenerated, reborn. Right? What do you mean by reborn? Some people think we're talking about just a so-called New Testament idea. Yes, it's found in the New Testament, but actually it's from the very beginning, even in the Brit HaYashana, even in the Hebrew Bible, or what ones might refer to as a Tanakh. We don't really approve of that particular acronym there, but we know it's a point of reference, so we say Tanakh. Right? We need to be studying to shoot right, ourselves approved to who? To Elohim, to Ha Elohim, to Ha'ilahim, to the Almighty Power, to Yahweh HaKadosh, Baruch Baruch Hashem, to the Holy One, blessed be He, blessed be the name, right? But instead, ones are studying and saying, yeah, I'm studying about who I am and my culture, many of our fellow black and brown people. And then you want to go out there and get into the useless dialogue with others who, whether rightly or wrongly, are making similar claims, you figure that because you identify yourself as a as an Israelite, that will just be like magic. No, this it's obvious you have not read the Torah. It's obvious that you don't really understand what you are identifying with. And this is where our people need a better understanding because my people are what? Destroyed. Uh oh. Destroyed for lack of what? A lack of money? See people think your lack of money, they say money rules everything. Money rules everything. Thing around me, huh? I guess if you're in a Babylonian state of mind, no. Actually, 
it's Torah or it's the principle of law, right? And faith that rules everything. It's really the principle in the real world is a principle of the law or a sense of law and a sense of faith or admittance or credit or what you accept as true. Even about, especially even the Babylonian system, this, this world system. You see, there's laws, right? People talk about the law, the law, they need to change the law. They who? It came down from Mount Sinai, it came from God? No, it was men and people that set up certain laws, right? Or modified ancient biblical laws and made their own modern laws, right? And then other men, right, having faith in those laws, right? And faith in that, in that, enforce the law. Think about it for a moment. Police and soldier and military. There is faith and belief and credit that's involved in that. Mm -hmm. You think a police officer, right? Right? When he says stop in the name of the law, right? He's telling you that his authority is this thing called law. Where did the law come from? Well, if you study, they basically made up their laws from biblical laws, common laws, ancient laws, or sometimes just even social and community laws and customs and different things. That's the compendium of law, right? In this modern world, and even to a extent in the scripture too, right? We're not going to get into that to here. If you want to get into a study of law, then come, come, come. Let us study to shew ourselves approved not to another group of people who call themselves Jews or to, to, to another group of people or to even lost black folks that have not recognized, maybe they will never recognize the truth, but, but who, who don't recognize the truth. No, it's study to shew thyself approved to Elohim. And this idea became even more, I can say, crystallized when hearing ones like Damon Dash. You know, Damon Dash was talking about like, you know, the con uh, the, the the Jay Z thing. You know, he was on he's on the Jay Z thing, right? And and Jay Z is working with these and those. And I don't want to regurgitate his points that he's made, but the common denominator in all those points, he's saying, why can't we be like, you know, other Jews? Well, if we're seeking to be so called like what we claim that we really are like, we didn't study be the most important thing and not just studying to say, well, who sold us into slavery? Who's such and such? Well, because you're still looking at those fleshy, those carnal minded things. And that's the very reason why the biblical scriptural Israelites, right? And even up to the New Testament Jews, this is the reason why they fell off from God's way and all the consequences of disobedience that the scripture points out has happened because of that very reason right there, right? That's the very reason, that's the epicenter of it right there, all right? So even if you claim, I claim, and even if our claims are true to being Hebrews and Jews and Israelites, men and people can't do nothing for, but, uh, but so much for us. Because this is about a divine relationship, right? This is about a divine relationship. And this requires, right, a true faith, right? A true admittance. And when I say faith, and I'm talking about admittance, and one time I think I'm speaking about belief and religion, on a level I am speaking about it, but I'm speaking about the active principle. When the police officer or when the courts or any of them say, well, that's the law. You even hear fellow ones and ones, even in the hood, even in the street saying, well, that's the law. That's the law, All right? So out in the streets, we may be big and bad of each other, right? I got a gun, you got a gun. You can shoot me, I can shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. You know what I'm saying? You, we could be talking and doing all that stuff, but when the law, woo, 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 come along. Notice how things change, uh-oh. What's the difference? They're men, we're men, but they have this thing called law. Think about what I'm saying right here. And not because they just have a law, because if they had a law, if the police and soldiers and the courts and the prisons, if they woke up tomorrow and they didn't believe in the law and they say, this thing is a cartoon, this thing is a joke, this thing is not real, this thing, I don't believe in this anymore, the whole system will fall apart. The whole system is conditioned on that. See, 
what many of your pseudo teachers haven't really put together because they're too much on hype and and and, and clickbait and you know like okay they get a lot of views or or look everybody is dealing with this See, people have not learned those first basic principles about the broad way, the difference between the broad way and the difference between the straight and narrow way. You know, they're following the crowd. Mm -hmm. They're following the crowd. You know, they're following all the Judas goats, so to speak. You know what I mean? But it says study to show yourself approved to God. Right? That means we're going to have to have a discussion about, well, who or what is God? Right, the Elohim. Right, according to the context of Scripture, right, a workman that needeth not be ashamed. People even say, "Well, look in the courts." They say, "In God we trust." When you go into court, check it out. When you go into court, and and, and they got you on charges, you don't stop and say, "Hey, hey, in God we trust." What God do y'all trust? And you, because you do that, what happens? You know, you'll be in contempt of court. So why are you going to do that when you come in our courts of study? When we're studying Torah, you want to do that amongst us. Or what is God? Or people believe in God. Talk all out of turn. You want to do that in court. Why? Because you know, if you were under charges and in court and you did that, there are those bailiffs and those police officers, we can say soldiers, police and military that trust and admit they yay and amen. They have faith in that law and that order that you're disrespecting and they're going to put hands on you right and they're going to put you in a cell or somewhere like that you know in solitary whatever the judgment is and you know they do they say well based on this and that and they point to their books of law and you never even read their books of law but you're subjected to their law that you never even read about ain't that something and it's just other men these are just other people. They're just other human beings, right? That are born, that are lived, that they live, all the ups and downs that people have, and they die, just like other men. They're no different than other men, right? And yet you fear these other men. Why? Because something is missing, right? My people are destroyed, what does the word say? For a lack of knowledge. So what should we really be about? We should be about the study to show ourselves approved, right? Let's go to the comma after the comma because that's just part of the verse here, right? We're making this make sense, right? Making this make sense. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, right? A lot of ones are they're out there in the works, they're in the streets, they're doing the works, and they and they they, they do, but they're not doing the works according to any order, right? We say after the, you know the order, right? This is the royal order, right? To be not ashamed. Right? A shame. A shame. 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 Right? Need of not to be ashamed, but can rightly do what? Rightly divide, right? The word of truth. Like, to rightly divide the word of truth, you're going to have to explain for our people, what does it mean to divide? Does it mean to divide, divide? No. Rightly, let's go over here. Rightly, right? Let's bring this out right here. Right? Here's some of the giving the true word in the right way. Some, some of the other kind of connotative you know, that is to say, right, teach the true message, right, teach the true message, right? So what we're doing right here is we're making sense, right, right? We're seeking to make sense, anachnu, ha, gionim, gionim, you know, seeking to make sense, or as you say, the turgum, interpret the message. Interpretation's important. People often, you know, they rely on this, it was says right here, you know, why not study handling the word of truth with precision, with precision. Study to shew ourselves approved, rightly dividing, rightly explaining, rightly bringing out, right, the word of truth. All right, not just the, in speaking on it, right, but in speaking on it and in putting it in effect, right, putting it in effect. This is how we grow, right, this is how we overcome. We don't have to be out here getting into useless, you know, conversation the argument and dialogue right but like i mentioned before some can't help themselves because ye must be born again mm. right you can go to the old testament and bring out this principle right of being born again right right there has to be that calling there right many are called but few choose you know you know you heard that before like many are called right but 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 few are chosen i mean few choose correctly Right. And, and, and because the correct way, right, the correct way takes more, takes more study. Right. Correct way. Right. It requires something of us. 
right? It, it, it requires of us a discipline, right? And a discipline of mind, right? Those are the key things that we need, right? You know, to become approved to Elohim. See, it's being approved to Elohim, right? You know, Yahuwah, right? Elohe Yisrael, right? To, to our power, our source. Because when we are approved to our power, our source, our God, right? We will be approved to, to one another, right? But the key is the study, right? Right? The key is to study, right? The key is that discipline. Not being out there just on the social media, getting all caught up, but that discipline. And this is what we notice that many, many ones amongst our people, right? So they get certain celebrities and others to make some comments or they make some comments out there in social media. And we're like, they know the truth. They look, they know the truth. They know who we are. They know who we are. Let me ask you a question. When the Israelites... Right. According to the scripture, the Bible, when they went in captivity and when they got lost, scripturally, biblically speaking, we can say even historically, but let's begin with the narrative. Scripturally, biblically speaking, when they got lost, right? did they not know who they were? Right? When the Israelites, the 10 tribes of Israel went to captivity, did they know they were Israelites or not? Did they know who their mom and their papa was being Israelites? They did. Right. They, they knew they were Israelites. All right? But they still went into captivity. And according to the scripture, right, Yahweh Loheinu gave up on them and allowed this, this, this captivity, this situation to occur. Why? Because they were off. So now we return to a sense of knowledge of who we are. And if we don't put in the work, it says faith, right? It's obvious when you hear that, well, we are Israelites, we're Jews, we're black people, Israelites, all, all of that. Many ones... Many of our people, they have faith in that. They, they're like, yes, that's right. Yes, you have faith. Now, what's the work? Well, well, the work is for me to tell others. Is that what the work really is? Right? Is that what the work really is? I thought it was to grow in grace and the knowledge. I thought, I, I thought it was to study to show ourselves approved to Elohim, right? So that we can become observant, you know, observant, right, of his word and his way, right? And we can repair the breaches, Right. This is why I'm going to share one more verse right here. There's another verse I like to share with you right here. Um, it came up in the previous video. Right. Um, let's go to the word provoke. Kawans are provoked. It seems as though, you know, provoke, um, mm, let's see, with a sense of jealousy. Right. Does not say that? Okay. Oh, we got, okay, here we go. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 8 verses, Deuteronomy 32 and 16. They provoked him, speaking about Haile him, right? Eloheinu, our power, our true good, our true God. They provoked him to jealousy with strange, all that strange stuff, right? And with abominations provoked him to anger. See, we're taking our eyes, right, off of the true power. Now, how, how can we see the true power? We can only see the true power with, with spiritual eyes, all right. And we're putting it on flesh and blood and, and other people. Right. Right. Who as people groups have put in more of that work. Right. They put in more of that work. Right. From to, to grow the core of who they are. That's why when you hear people say, well, we should be like this other group of people. If you if, if we took that seriously. We will have to put in work. So we have faith that we should be like another group of people who have a namesake similar to what we claim our namesake is. But when do we put in that work? You see, because, you know, work is hard work. Let's say hurt people hurt people. Well, work is hard work. You know, Deuteronomy 32, 21, it says, they move me to jealousy. Now, people say jealousy. Why would he be jealous? And the God is not jealous. And they get on to this yik yak patty where I give the... Right? Envy, jealous, a zeal, to be zealous, to be zealous, right? To be zealous. If that is your child and somebody is harming your child or your child is doing something to harm them, if you're not zealous for their well being, then something is wrong, would be wrong for you as a parent. That should be a parent. But they move, Hashem, right? To zealousy, right? With that which is not God, that not El, not the Almighty. Right? They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those 
who are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. So where are we? Well, we're in this time, right, of what's called the 400 years or the post 400 years prophecy, all right? And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. This is all part of the judgment sequence here. This is all part of it. Right? You know, like in court sometimes, how many different sessions they have in court, different parts in court. It depends on how big the case is. They can have a couple of parts. It could all be in one part. They could have multiple parts, 10, 20, 30, maybe 100 different parts. It depends on how deep the case is. This, this, this is as deep as, as deep as the depths and as high right as the created olam right but we go down here right here right let's scroll through here right let's scroll through here let's scroll through here here we go right here let's go to romans 10 and 19 this is the new testament so you once can see why the old testament matters right for those who are overly new testament and why the new testament matters for our people who are overly old testament what you need is a good rabbi right what you need is a good rabbi like we have robeno yeshua hanotri right our rabbi the rabbi of rabbis for i and i of the royal order romans the picture of the romans 10 and 19 says but i say did not israel know hmm did not israel know now we get some israel and some of our people identifying as israelites you know who just got to know that they're Israelites, right? But here the question is, did not Israel know? Did not Israel, when Israel, biblically, scripturally, historically went astray, did not they know that they were Israel? Did the knowledge of them being Israel save them from ending up in captivity in previous times, historical event, horizons, and dispensations? Did it? No. When they knew that they were Yehudi, when they knew they were Jews, when they knew they were Hebrews, did that save them? So, so you can see the falsification of this good news, even among many of our people who have a zeal. They have a zeal, right? They have a zeal, right? But it's not according to da'at, not according to, to the real knowledge. That's what the question here is. But I say, did not Israel, Yisrael, Yashar Allah? No. First, Moshe, Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy, zealousy by them that are no people. These other people took out with this, they took out with that. But the scriptures say, but the scriptures say, right, I will provoke you to zealousy. Now we people got a zeal. Yeah, we, we this, this is who we are. You see the zeal, it's like we call it the hype, the enthusiasm, the earnestness, the zeal. Right? They got a zeal, right? And that zeal has hints of what's translated here somewhat poorly, but translated here as jealous, right? right? They're jealous with, with, with no people. With people, but they're really no people. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a fighting a shadow. you shadow boxing, right? And it says, by a foolish nation. So we have a people, right, who are no people, people who are no people, and we have a, a nation of fools. That's why we said in the previous video about black Jews and anti-Semitism, why no comments publicly, right, are best and even blessed, you know, are best and even blessed, right? So we are being provoked to jealousy, right? right? But this is this would happen. So even Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hashem, is saying that these sort of things would happen. Right, but Isaiah, Isaiah, Yeshaya, Yeshayahu is very bold, and saith, "I was found of them that sought me not." Right, <laughs> I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest to them that asked not after me. What is the prophet saying so boldly to Yisrael, to Yasharala, and even to we? Even in these latter days and times, the once lost, now found, black and brown sheep of the Bait, Israel, the Beta Israel, here in the Americas and the Caribbean, what is it saying to us? This should be like a wake up to some, right? You know, if, if you got the spirit, you see how this applies, right? That Yeshaya is very bold. The prophet Esaias is very bold. He says that on Yahweh's behalf, he's saying that I was found of them that sought me not. 
So these other people, you know, we talk about, you know, we as black people, you know, being being like um, spiritual people. We spiritual. Some might say we religious people. You know, we, we seem to have an inclination to, 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 to God or to gods and to spirituality and religion. So much as black people, generally speaking, and we as a particular group of black people here in the Americas and the Caribbean, specifically speaking, we have this inclination right to spirituality and that means for the good for tovera tovera for for good and for 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 not good <laughs> in that sense you know because that's also the context right the goal is good over evil right but what does he says i was made manifest to them that asked not after me you know so you find other people Right, making the same name claims as 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 many of us have have come to see may more properly be applied to we the ones lost now found right black and brown kushi Yehudi <laughs> so to speak you know what I'm saying but we find out other people it seems as though like somebody would say the mockers and the scoffers would say well if you are you know like you say the Jews then you know then how come we see this and that amongst other groups, like, but not amongst us. All right? Well, that's answered already. That's the, that's, that's the answers right there before you, for those watching the vlog here in Romans chapter 10 at verse 21. Right? And people say, well, if you are Hebrew or Jew or, or Israelite, why are you looking at the New Testament? Because we have eyes to see. We have eyes to see and ears to hear. And we know what the truth, how this truly applies to Yashirah, to Yisrael, to the Beta Israel, how this applies to us, right? Fubu, for us, by us. But to Yisrael, Yashirah, he saith, all day long have I stretched forth my hands to a disobedient and gainsaying people. Is this not our people, black people, black and brown people? Is this not our people? I mean, if, if, we, if we're honest, I shouldn't even have to say that, but you know, that, that's what you'll say, right? right? <laughs> what you say, right? What you say, right? To a disobedient, disobedient coming out to basic Hebraics will be hard of hearing, hard of hearing, you know? You know, they want to hear itching things. They have itching, itching ears for itching things. You know, they heap up to themselves teachers after their own fallen state of mind. Right? Anything that challenges them, like to study to show yourself approved, that's too much a challenge, too much a discipline, sabbatical studies, right? from Shabua to Shabua, from week to week, from strong to strong, too much discipline there. Right? Torah readings and feedings, right? studying the psalm, just, just the mana, just the manna, the bite-sized portion, the daily mana, right? the MREs, the mana ready to eat. That's, that's too much discipline right? for us to study together. Right? Come, 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 make us reason. That's too much. Right? Disobedience, the hard of hearing. Right? The hard of hearing. You, you can see what they want to hear. You know, you can study that by social media, what people like. Right? And some of it might be even likable. But how does it change anything? How does it really change anything? Mm -hmm. For the benefit of those who allege that this is the truth. Right? How does it really benefit us in the real ways of Scripture? It's like we can't lift the name or identity out of the Bible and not be about the Bible. Not, not know this scripture, study the scripture, and even master this scripture. This is why Yeshua said, right? What he said, he says, observe, you know, whatever they bid you to uh, observe, observe what they observe, but don't do after their works. We have a lot of people that might observe the Bible, like even those who have enslaved us and enslaved us, didn't they observe the Bible? They seem to be somewhat Bible observant. Uh, the Bible's a big thing to the European, the Anglo-Americans when they brought our people over here. It was all about the Bible and being a Christian and this and that and Jesus and God. But yet they did to other people, human beings that, according to everything they pointed out, never did nothing like this to them. Right? Yet they did to black and brown people what they did and treated other human beings as cattle, as chattel. Now, some would say, well, the Jews also, they, they sold our people. So, so. See, you're looking at it cockeyed. I, I'm trying to do a fubu here, for us, by us. You see, because once we get to the for us, by us groundation, then you're going to be able to see the others in a clearer view. 
then you're going to have wisdom. As it says, even in the Torah, it says the Torah is our wisdom. So you get people for a little bit of knowledge, right? But no wisdom. Wisdom is justified by all of her children. But to Yisrael, Yasharallah, he saith, all day long have I stretched forth my hands. Mm. So, you know, black people being brought into counterfeit Christianity or the Western Gentile version and perversion of Christianity, we look upon Jesus, right? Especially the white G, Kaiser, Kaiser, Julius, Julius Kazar, Kaiser Borgia. We look upon the Jesus and he's stretching out his hand and we talk about sin and salvation and heaven, you know, and, and going to the sky after we die, right? But they still are disobedient and again saying people. They really don't get the real stretching forth of the hands, right? They really don't get the stretching forth of our hands. And princes shall come out of Egypt and Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hands to God, right? She's now stretching forth her hands, right? To he who stretched forth his hand. That's why it says in the previous verse, it says what? It says who? I was found of them that sought me not. Mm. It's interesting, even from the biblical point of view, we see this throughout the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, right? Where the people who he was seeking to reach, they seem to have a disobedience, a heart of hearing problem, a low shama, right? A low shama, uh, you know, condition, right? And gainsaying, you know what gainsaying means, right? Gainsaying, anti, anti lego, anti lego, right? To speak against, the gainsaying, to contradict. You know, it's like a lot of the black folks got a disease. It's like a disease amongst our people, right? And it's getting worse generation to generation. It's gainsaying, right? You know, they're disobedient, they're hard of hearing, right? They heard say, they hear say, right, that that we or many of we as black and brown people are Yehudi or Jews or Israelites. And they, and they kind of co-sign that hearsay, right, that they heard say, right? But they are still disobedient. They have a hard of hearing, right, to the source of that revelation to us, and that's the scripture, that's the Bible, right? That explains, you know, how our ancestors were called, right? What we was instructed, right? That covenant that we were supposed to be keeping, that we still are supposed to be keeping, how we fell away from that, how it was renewed to us, all of that, but we're not willing to, we don't want to address that. We don't want to address that, right? We don't want to really study to show ourselves approved, right? To speak against, to gainsay, to contradict, to oppose oneself to one, Right. Actually, to actually oppose themselves, we oppose by gainsaying, we oppose our own best interests. Right. But then we, we, we point the blame. Right. We point the blame to others. Right. See, the initial blame is ours. The, the, the main blame is ours. This is not to excuse other peoples. Right? The scripture also points out to what the nations and others would do to us. Right? You know, how, what, what they would do to us, so how they would steal from us, how they would lie against us. But it also points out this, that how the Almighty, our, our Elohim, Elohim Ha'ab, Eloheinu, right, would authorize that because of our disobedience, would allow that because we chose not to do it his way and to go our way aka to go astray therefore in this whole good and evil kind of matrix right since we made a decision right it'll be wrong if somebody made a choice not to let them have it their way right you know if you give somebody a choice and say you could have it yes or no you want them to say yes but they eventually say no right should you not allow them to have the fruit of their no, right? The fruit of their, you say, well, be obedient and get the good. But if you're disobedient, you get the bad. And they decide to be disobedient. They choose, right? After they've been called, they choose to be disobedient. Who who who'd be wrong? Would it be wrong, right, to allow them that if they were given a choice? So what you was given a choice, right? right? And you chose the good. Right. But then they gave you the the consequences of the disobedience. Right? They didn't give you what you chose. You know, imagine you go and you buy something online and you buy something somewhere. Right. Just speaking in a little worldly way right here. And you chose to buy buy the red and they give you the blue. 
Oh, you chose the blue and they give you the red. Are you going to be happy with that? They're going to say, hey, listen, I chose this, but you gave me that. But now if you chose the red and get the red and you're upset <laughs> or the blue and you get the blue and you get upset. Whose problem is it? You see what I'm saying? Gain saying to oppose oneself to one. Right. To decline, to obey. Right. To obey, to hear and to obey. It's interesting that we might talk about the laws of the system of Babylon and how their laws are unjust. Right. But what do you do? You basically, by and large, you obey the compendium of the Babylonian law. Yeah, there may be some laws you don't obey here or there, but overall, you basically consent that the law in your view is a good thing and you don't oppose it. Right. But now you say you're Israel and you don't learn our way. You don't learn Yahweh. This is the way. Right? But what you do is you declare oneself against him, against Elohim, Hailehim. Refuse to have anything to do with him, Elohim, Hailehim. I mean, there's many Israelites that even want to say they're Israelites, right? And want to be like those who they decry. <laughs> See, it's not about us going into who the others are, right? If we're the one with the bigger problem, if, if what we say is true, that we really are those people, then a lot hedges and hinges on us, right? To whom more is given, more is required, right? To whom more is given, more is required. So here, 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 a little bit longer than we had actually intended. You know, these things sometimes, it, it bees this way, right? It's not bees this way. But here, just to sum up with where we began off on, right? And looking at the scripture and looking at the Torah right here, here, here. You know, this is, this is what we need to get hands on. You know, hands on deck, right? Hands on the script, right? Hands on the script. So we can study and we can grow in grace and that knowledge, right? Because the half of the story, as the Torah so says, right? This is our wisdom. Okay, one more, one more verse. One more verse right here, brothers and sisters. One more verse. One more verse. So ones can at least know these. These are main points of reference right here, right? This is our wisdom. See, we may have a knowledge, right? But what about wisdom? Wisdom is the principal thing, right? If all of our getting... Right, get understanding here, Deuteronomy, right, four and six. Keep therefore and do them the directions, instruction, ha Torah, right? For this is our, this is your wisdom. It says, This is your wisdom, I and I wisdom. This is our wisdom and our understanding, your understanding in the sight of the nations all nations whether they're black or white or otherwise non-partial the international community which shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is what this great nation is a wise and understanding people now do they say this about us as black and brown people do we even say this about ourselves could we say this about ourselves not now not nowadays right says so this is our wisdom right this is our wisdom right this is our wisdom right this is our wisdom for our rejoicing is this the testimony of our conscience that in simplicity and godly sincerity not with fleshy wisdom see that's the problem there ones have fleshy carnal wisdom wisdom that come from uh, below not from above not the true wisdom right not with fleshy wisdom, but by the grace of Elohim, we have had our conversation in the world. By what? By the grace of Elohim, having our conversation, right? Anastrefo, right? Anastrefo, like our going up and down, our, there's a metaphorically to bring out our conduct, how we conduct ourselves, how we live, our liberty. You know, in this, right, in the world, and more abundantly to you words, right? More abundantly to our own people, towards our own people. It's not about, 
right? Especially if we are Israelites and we have this covenant. It's not about the other people, firstly and foremostly. It's being our brother's keeper, right? Being our brother's keeper, right? Being able to even reprove, you know, our brother. Because by reproving our brother, and it's not just looking at to reprove our brother, but this is a kind of a general to our brothers. You know, as it says, thou shalt not hate, right, thy brother, right, in thy heart. I know I said one more verse, but the Spirit gives, you know, Right, the spirit gives, right, and we like to receive in spirit and in truth, right? And here it says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart, right? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. It's like we, we're rebuking the stranger more than our neighbor. You know what I mean? And it says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, right? And we hate our brother in our heart if we don't rebuke. rebuke Right, rebuke. Let's bring this one, yakeach. Right, to reprove, to side. You see, it says to correct, to be right, to help our brother be right. It's like almost we have fallen so far away that we prefer that our brother be wrong. Right, our brother be wrong. Right, and, and this is not going out there in public, but as Robeno Yeshua said, right, as the Rabbi Rabbi Yeshua HaMoshiach said, you know, if your brother offend you, then you go to him like one away, reason with him. But if he doesn't hear you, then you get two or three others, right? I, in the best of the streets, I've seen this actually happen. If one brother in a gang or something, click, has something with the next one, he try to reason with him one-on-one. -on -one. If the brother don't hear him, he try to bring two or three others. Then, if he still don't hear the two or three, then it becomes like the whole crew, the whole click hear about it. It becomes a situation. So even there, we have had better order. Right, then in some of even the churches. Ain't that something? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him, not suffer lack, forfeiture, even upon our brother. It's like sometimes ones and ones, you know, just it's almost like they almost get a glory. I ain't gonna say nothing. I can't wait till he fall on his face. That's the type of hatred that caused our people to end up in the situation, the situation we are in. And even when the brother has reproved the brother, the other brother not hearing, hearing that, right? Or becoming evil, right? Evil eye to the brother who has corrected him, even though he know he needed correction and he was wrong, right? Those are the behaviors that's caused us, right? To, to fall, proverbially speaking, from Jah Grace. But Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom. Right here, 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 this particular vlog right here. Um, we'll say like, share, you know, subscribe, share elsewhere. This is what we, right, what we need to be doing, right? We, the black Jews, what we need to be doing, right? Study to show ourselves approved. Grow in grace, you know? Repair the breach is our real reparation. Repair that knowledge of who we are. Who are we? Where we're from? How do we get in this situation, right? What things can we change? That true wisdom. You know, those things that we can change. There's some things that perhaps we cannot change, right? And those are the things that you see people engaging in. They're engaging in who, what other people call themselves or what allegedly this and that. And just a lot of things that just take us off, off course, right? And have us just go around and around, you know, the, the I can't even call it a merry-go-round, but you get the idea like that, that the rat race, the treadmill and the rat race. Let's come out of her, come out of that mentality you know what i mean you know recognize our true mother mother wisdom because right? wisdom is the principal thing knowledge yes right but not having a bunch of zeal over a little bit of knowledge right and even if the knowledge is true in some ways right we are still very much immature there's a lot of people who only have the the milk of the word that are running out there making the most noise and people listen to them and they got milk of the word no solid food no solid substance I no solid food and people have to grow like a baby has to grow right till it gets teeth right can you imagine you know it's like it's like a little baby lion or tiger or cat we know that the baby lion or tiger or cat can't do very much you know what I mean but when it grows and it gets teeth so we have to really grow right and speaking using natural you know points of reference you know for those who can receive the higher you know, the higher wisdom, the higher truth. Shalom, Chabarim. Shalom. Yeshua Shalom.